Welcome back trainers! So now that we have ourselves all of these shiny new Pokemon to test out up against raids, there just lies one tiny problem, which you already know by the title of this video, and that is going to be the Shadow Hits. Now, I'm not going to go off on any sort of big rant, we're just going to kind of point out things and discuss this. It's been an ongoing problem for, I don't know, since raids have been a thing, and it's just become old and disappointing. I remember a time where I would get adrenaline rushes from doing short mans with uh, one or two Pokemon in tier threes or even speed runs for that matter and just trying to get like a new time or beating a specific raid with just one Pokemon with perfect dodging, dodging all the quick moves, all the charge moves, but it's just the thrill is gone. The thrill has died off unfortunately because of how broken the raids are. And I'm gonna be pointing out a couple of incidences here. Now, this is going to be a Spark and Psychic Alolan Raichu that we're going up against. Now, take a look at what we're gonna see here. I uh, dodged that. You can clearly see the dodge in the corner, but it still takes off my health there. Now, it's very unfortunate. I really rushed to this raid, uh, hoping and thinking that I was gonna be able to do it with one Dark Rai, which, it might be possible, even if it's not possible, I still want to try to the best of my ability. I invested the Stardust, I invested the uh, time going there, and I want to make an effort. Even if it's not possible, I want to get as close as I possibly can. Now, I want to bring awareness to this. I'm, you know, I already know Niantic is completely aware of the situation. I think they've addressed it maybe once or twice. So take a look at this. It just goes around, it does spark, and... I just get hit by a thunder or a psychic anyways. It's just very disappointing and it's just, when will this get fixed? Now I know there's several things. Do I have a good connection? Uh, am I in and out of the app? I completely restarted my app and I had a perfect connection. There was no other phones connected to mine. It was just simply bugging out. Now take a look at this here. It does another spark and takes off a good chunk of my health as if it did a psychic. And I'm holding on to my Shadow Ball intentionally. If you're a short man raider or somebody who does these with it, just one Pokemon, you understand you have to hold on to that energy at times, wait for them to use their charge, and then you go ahead and do that. In comes my Hydreigon and just takes a Psychic, but doesn't just take one Psychic, it takes two. Yes, I didn't dodge, but it took two in a row. As you can see there, a good chunk of the health is ripping off from it. So. What's, what's going to give? When is this actually going to be fixed? Uh, because as of now, the reason why you do not see as many raid challenges on my channel anymore, more so on the, the power of videos, is because of this specific reason. I'm out here doing a ton of raids. You really don't see it. And a lot of the times I'm sitting at the raid for the majority of the time. I don't really do that too often, like just sitting at the raid from beginning to end. As much as I used to, I enjoyed it and I, you know, invested that time to make it happen to bring you guys the best and the closest challenges that I can possibly do with one Pokemon or a team or whatever the challenge may be. Now, going up against the Skunk Tank here, I wanted to try my hand at going up against it with one Garchomp. Now, yet again, an incidence where it's probably not possible without Weather Boost but I still wanted to push the limits to see how well this champ can perform. And time and time again, I won't, I won't show you every single shadow hit. I'm just gonna give you a prime example here. Finding the perfect moveset, getting yourself to that raid, and if you're lucky enough, having a full duration. So if you did mess up, you will be able to continuously back out and retry. Really wish we had a lobby skip. That would make this probably a lot less of a headache, to be honest, if we just simply had a lobby skip time for private rooms. Uh, so take a look here, we're doing fine, and it looks like we might be able to pull this off, but then I get hit by the flamethrower here, and as you can see, it clearly says dodged, and I still get hit by it, unfortunately. Now, going in against this Sharpedo raid, uh, it does have Waterfall and Hydro Pump, and I thought, okay, interesting. Let's go ahead and see what my Polyrath can do with Rock Smash and Dynamic Punch, all right? You can easily do this with a Machamp. Um, not against this specific moveset, but against a Double Dark. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. 
All right, so we're just dodging those waterfalls because they still hurt. We dodged that first hydro pump and no shadow hits. Looking good. I was also thinking about trying this with a Breloom, but it is a little glassy for this specific kind of challenge. Um, but I still try it anyway. So take a look. This is all right. So I dodge it and we still get hit by a hydro pump. As you can see there, it, it's it's unfortunate. Niantic, if you're watching, please send out another message showing and indicating to us that you are completely aware of this situation. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at successful things here. Successful rates. Uh, this is going to be a bite and crunch. And we do have cloudy weather and the Machamp will be able to take it out in, uh, with just one of those. And it's it's pretty fun to do this. And we didn't receive any sort of shadow hits. Um, so what can we do to resolve this? We can do nothing. We have to wait for Niantic to fix it. Can they fix it? Do they know the issue? Do they know how to, you know, bring about a patch for this? Because, well, it's been here since the beginning of raid times and it's still a problem. Uh, I feel like it's even more so a problem nowadays. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, okay, okay, sure. Shadow hits are a problem, but is it preventing you from actually completing the raids? Uh, that's, you know, Definitely not. I can totally take out every single one of these raids, no problem, by just picking, you know, my strong Pokemon or a unique team and going in there. And even if we had some shadow hits, we can still get the job done. But that's not the point. Investing all the Stardust in a specific Pokemon, like, say, Garchomp, Darkrai, that's a lot of investment, right? And not a lot of people have one of those. And I want to bring you the best potential possible that this Pokemon can do but it's making it extremely difficult to actually perform these tasks when the game is completely buggy. So, yes, you can still beat these raids, and for people who live like in a place with hardly any people, or you just simply, yeah, just that situation, if you don't have anybody in your area, and you don't have that strong of Pokemon in your on your uh, list, and you have to dodge because you simply don't have the power of the Pokemon to take them out by simply just running through it and taking the hits and you have to dodge, but you're receiving the shadow hits. That is an incidence where it can be troublesome. Okay. And uh, taking a look at this skunk tank raid, I wasn't receiving any sort of issues as far as I'm concerned, or as I can see, we just went in here and kind of did a speed run. And then we're going to start off with a grout on for the next skunk tank to see how that goes. Uh, really a whole lot of fun challenges that can be, uh, done but unfortunately the game is preventing that from actually happening. now let me know in the comments if you are actually receiving shadow hits or if you're perfectly fine is it just all my server my service provider i don't think so because this problem is definitely widespread and i see a whole lot of people discussing this issue now this is just a fantasy i suppose never gonna happen but i thought i'd just throw it out there it would be quite amazing if niantic put together a team of people to go out and conduct a series of tests or if they gave them a checklist of things to bring back and give them feedback on uh, so they could possibly resolve this. Now, at this point, I don't think that's really going to help too much. It's all on the server's end. Now, a lot of these shadow hits can come from bad networks from your service provider, your specific area that you're in. But taking a look at that Machamp raid back there, out of all those other raids that I was getting shadow hit on, I had full bars on that Sharpedo raid with the one Machamp. I had one bar. Did you see any sort of shadow hits? Nothing. It's just hit or miss. Now, the shadow hits can become a whole lot worse if, say, the Pokemon does have a charge move that does gain energy fairly quick and it just spams you. If a raid boss, say, has Focus Blast, you're not going to be seeing shadow hits too often with that, although they have occurred and can occur for sure. Personally, I've experienced that. So there you have it. If you are running into these shadow hits, just know you are not alone. If you're trying to do some sort of challenge with one Pokemon or a speed run, it affects it very, very much. So does it completely break the game? It doesn't. It really doesn't. And I'm going to tell you this, oddly enough, oddly enough, going up against legendary raids with multiple people, if you dodge, I, I've seen a noticeable difference that it doesn't actually defeat you. Like you, you won't lose health a lot of times personally. So I don't know what's going on with the legendary raids compared to the tier fours and under, but it's, it's all a mess. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and 
hopefully this can get resolved in the future because it's very unfortunate for us who like to challenge. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.